Hi, I'm Lou Shrum of the Wisconsin Technology Council, here with another edition of WISBusiness.com, the show, brought to you by Graham Thornton and Madison Gas and Electric. On today's show, Tom Still examines the role regional development groups play in the state's economic growth. And competitive Wisconsin's Bill McCoshin talks with us about other efforts to improve the Wisconsin economy. I'll be right back with the WIS Business Stock Report. What has made Grant Thornton one of the largest accounting organizations in the world, with resources in more than 100 countries worldwide? Is it their global capabilities, or is it their passion for how they serve their clients? Grant Thornton. Rising in the mid-December stock report, Kohl's Corporation. The Wisconsin-based retailer announced November same-store sales rose a little more than 3% over the last year. That beats expectations going into the crucial Christmas selling season. And falling, Fox Valley Jobs. Two major companies there announced layoffs. Miller Electric Manufacturing says it will cut 35 positions in Appleton at the start of the year. The company cites a global drop in demand for welding equipment. And Georgia Pacific surprises union officials saying there will be nearly 160 layoffs in Green Bay. Most will happen in February. And now, let's go to Tom Still with his Inside Wisconsin commentary. The recent annual meeting of Momentum West, the regional economic development group for 10 counties in western Wisconsin, was a prime example of how hanging together can be much more rewarding than hanging separately. About 150 people with a stake in the region's growth showed up to talk about developing partnerships, leveraging resources, and marketing the region as a great place to live, work, and do business. That's very much like the missions of other regional economic development groups across Wisconsin. Groups such as Seven Rivers in the La Crosse area, Synergy in Central Wisconsin, New North in Northeast Wisconsin, M7 in Southeast Wisconsin, and Thrive in the Madison region. Having a mission is one thing, executing is a bit more complicated as it involves meeting the sometimes conflicting needs of communities and investors who cooperate where cooperation makes sense, but who compete where competition is necessary. Cooperation over competition has been the thinking behind regional economic development efforts in Wisconsin for nearly a decade. The idea took off during the Wisconsin Economic Summits in 2000 through 2003 with the realization there's no single state economy, but rather a matrix of overlapping regional economies that don't respect city, county, or even state borders. Regional economic development strategies have their pitfalls, of course, and here's three. Such regions may not be readily identifiable outside the state. Building brands is neither cheap nor short term. It requires commitment and a long view. There may also be a temptation to trade city by city competition for region by region rivalry. That can balkanize Wisconsin in ways that would hurt rather than help. So far, however, cooperation is trumping competition as Wisconsin looks for ways to improve its economy overall, as well as region by region. We can all hang together, or we can most certainly will hang separately. Thanks, Tom. I'm back with Bill McCoshin, Executive Director of Competitive Wisconsin, one of the state's oldest economic development coalitions. Thanks for joining us, Bill. Thanks for having me, Liz. Competitive Wisconsin is leading a study of the Wisconsin economy. Tell us why this study is important and when results can be expected. Well, Competitive Wisconsin, the Wisconsin Economic Development Association, and the Wisconsin Counties Association are trying to revisit a study that was done the last time Wisconsin was in tough economic times in the early 80s. Back then, Competitive Wisconsin hired a group called the Yankelovich uh, Group to take a deep dive and look at Wisconsin's economic situation and make recommendations on how to get out of what was then a pretty tough uh, economic condition. Uh, and we're going to revisit that 25 years later because we're in a similar situation today. So what's to prevent this study from sitting on the shelf after the next governor and legislature take office? Great question. I think we have a unique opportunity in 2010 because we've got the first open governor's race in 28 years in Wisconsin. So competitive Wisconsin, WIDA, the Wisconsin Counties Association, we're going to make sure this is a nonpartisan study that will make fact-based recommendations to move this state forward that candidates from either party should be able to embrace. Senate Democrats have proposed expanding the investor tax credits in 2010, a year ahead of schedule. Tell us why you join other groups in backing this idea. Well, we're excited about that. I mean, uh, we worked with the Wisconsin Technology Council and other groups back in uh, February of this year to, to make some inroads in, in those credits, and now the legislature appears willing to go even further, uh, and that's exciting news for Wisconsin. Thanks, Bill, and thank you for watching this edition of WISBusiness.com, the show. Brought to you by Grant Thornton and MG&E. 
and produced by WISBusiness.com and the Wisconsin Technology Council. Please visit our websites to read and learn more. I'm Liz Shrum. See you next time.